The flesh worn by God's Spirit is God's own flesh. God's Spirit is supreme, He is almighty. Holy and righteous, likewise His flesh is also supreme, almighty, holy and righteous. Such a flesh can only do that which is righteous and beneficial to mankind. That which is holy, glorious, and mighty. He's incapable of doing anything that violates the truth, that violates morality and justice and much less is he capable of anything that it betray God's spirit the spirit holy and thus his flesh is incorruptible by Satan his flesh is of a different essence than the flesh of man than the flesh of man for it's man not God who's corrupted by Satan Satan couldn't possibly corrupt the flesh of God Thus despite the fact that man and Christ dwell within the same space It's only man who is possessed, used and entrapped by Satan by contrast, Christ is eternally impervious to Satan's corruption. Christ is eternally impervious to Satan's corruption. Because Satan will never be capable of ascending to the highest place and will never be able to never be able to draw near to 